Welcome back to episode 16 of our Neuroaffirming Social Skills series. It's Eveline here to talk about more decoding. So this is the third episode in the row about decoding. As always, if you've missed anything, just pop onto YouTube or if you're on YouTube, just go back and watch the, the other episodes before you're watching this one. Um, you don't need to have my books to join along. You can just listen, make notes and take some of the ideas. Uh, we're going to talk about decoding. So this is my green stop sign. Um, started using this, I don't know, a good few years ago to explain what it's like to be autistic uh, or an autistic communicator in a world that is predominantly not communicating the same way as we are. And it's like any of us driving up to an intersection on seeing a green stop sign. So that's confusing because the words are saying stop and the color green means go. So we're now getting two opposite messages to conflicting messages and how are we supposed to naturally know which one to go with and this is the thing we wouldn't naturally know we would need somebody who communicates uh, in that way um, from that culture to explain to us oh listen in this place we don't pay any attention to the words we just go by what the colors are telling us the words are irrelevant and sometimes that's what autistic kids and teens need. They need somebody to say, ignore the words, watch the other things that are going on, because that's how people are communicating. So it's really important that this is, seen, you know, recognized that and it can cause obviously huge miscommunication. It can be really confusing. You could have somebody just stuck going, I don't know what to do here because I literally have two conflicting messages and no other information and no other way of knowing how to decode this. So this is where we, we can help kids to decode stuff like that, you know? And again, as always, encourage them to ask, well, do you mean stop or go? Which is it that you mean? Would you mind explaining this to me? I'm a literal communicator. You know, there's loads of different ways that we can explain ourselves and ask for help, <laughs> basically decoding this kind of stuff. So um you know this is where we look again at things like body language and other signals that people might give us um but it's a lot of work to trying to you know discern what someone means sometimes sometimes it is just easier to ask and have that little conversation so i hope you've enjoyed this series um i am going to continue on we're going to i mean connect three is the last connect book at the moment <laughs> i'm going to continue on with um standing up for myself which is a fantastic book for kids age nine to i say 15 but you know adults are using it um and we're going to start on that next week so um if you want to have the book to follow along standing up for myself is, is the one book that is actually available on amazon uh if you get it on awesome training you can get it either printed or you can get a digital download on amazon it's only the printed one so um as always thank you so much for sharing this journey with me thank you so much for um you know help reframing being part of this reframing rethinking questioning what we do and finding better ways um it's been quite the journey for me and i hope you've enjoyed it so far and i hope i will see you again next week